this particular show that I'm doing that's coming up in a couple of weeks is um, a show about a subject that I've been very caught up with for the last 12 years. Um, when I first, as a 53-year-old, I first heard the story of Emmett Till on the radio. Emmett Till's body was found in the Tallahatchie River August 31st, 1955. A week before, this 14-year-old Chicagoan, vacationing in the Mississippi Delta, had whistled at a white woman, 21-year-old Carolyn Bryant. And I thought, this is an amazingly powerful story. How did I not hear about this until I've gotten to be this old? And, you know, I realized that I was six years old when the actual event happened. I was living in Virginia. I did not hear about it at all. And so I started to do research, and I be began asking other people, did you know about this story? I never heard of it. In Chicago today, many do not know the name of Emmett Till. What can you tell me about Emmett Till? They do not know the significance of his death. Every black person that I talked to, but one, knew the story in detail. And very few white people knew the story. So it occurred to me that you know, how can we move forward if we don't even share the same history? How can we know what's going on for each other if, um, you know, if I'm ignorant about what a uh, African American person lives with? We're live again. Yes, sir. How long, not long. Yes, sir. Because no lie can live forever. Yes, sir. The title of my show is My Racial Ignorance because it just, I was stunned by how amazingly ignorant I am about, you know, what, what has happened in my country, what's happened in my state, what happened on the piece of land that I grew up on, which had been a plantation. The subject comes to my mind sometimes from the research, sometimes from some image I saw. Um, so I have some idea of something I want to portray. I, I want something to start from because I like to paint without having to think. You know, I just want to be able to react to what I'm looking at and let how the colors are going down, you know, affect me. If I have to think too much, then I get into a whole thinking part of my brain that's the wrong area to be in. I think about making art as being kind of like a formula. On one half of the formula is what I do. I'm, I'm trying to make something that seems true to me, about what I'm feeling, thinking, you know. And then there's this equal sign, and then there's people looking at it. And they do their part, and I have no control over that. And I've been struck in the past by paintings that I sold to people that they had a whole different story about what was in the painting than what I thought I was putting into it. And I realized, of course, they have to see it given their own story, their own history. The most important thing for me is, to, well, I want, it, I want it to be a handsome painting. I'd want it to be aesthetically satisfying, but it should be true to what I'm feeling. And that's another thing, is that I've really been struck, especially during making this show, how important it is to not know what I'm doing. To be in a state of, I don't know, I'm going to do stuff and see what happens, and then I'll react to that stuff. Really getting friendly with, I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> 